Hi guys, Samantha from Jessima Tutorials here and today we're going to try out a fun technique using an acrylic block and liquid clay. So I've got some black polymer clay here and I'm just going to be popping some uh, metal leaf onto it. And you can use any colour metal leaf you want. I'm going with gold to go today. Uh, but you can again use any colour you want. There we go. Just burnish that down onto the clay. And then just trim away the excess because we're not going to need that. There we go. Then I'm just going to crackle it. By running my roller over it a few times get that crackle going. Then pick it up off of your uh, piece of paper which is what I'm using and just give it a stretch and this will just expose those crackles a bit more and then I'm going to roll that back down onto my piece of paper and then we're ready to uh, play around with the liquid clay. And so I'm going to be using an acrylic block and I'm going to be working in the reds and yellows. And we don't need to use a lot of liquid clay here, we want to use a very small amount. So I'm going to put my colours down here and I am going to be using some black and white as well. going to be spearing with the black and white as well and the white I'm going to be a little bit more liberal, liberal with. There we go. Then I'm just going to use this to spread it around. And you can use your finger as well but it, I find it's a little bit too big and I end up with too much smearing so I'm just using this tool and just smear it around until you have a semi-flat surface. There we go and here's what it looks like from the other side and you can see there if you're missing any spots like you can see I've got a spot over there that I missed you can just see it a lot better so just do that so that you make sure you don't miss out on any spots, like so. Okay, then I brought this back over and go pop this over the top and then press down firmly so you spread it out. and then lift there you go, you can see how that looks and then you should be able to get a second print out of that again press that down firmly and then lift and the second one is generally not as good as the first one just because you're not going to have as much on there but it means that you don't have any waste. And there we go, you can see how that looks. Yeah. Now I'm just going to use this uh, little throwing star cutter to cut out my piece. And the layer of liquid clay should be thin enough for you to work with this without too much trouble. Okay, I'm going to make sure I get a good cut and then I'm going to lift up. And it will most likely stick in your cutter. So I'm just, and that's because I'm working on a piece of paper. If you don't want that work on a tile, then I'll just pop the one corner and then you can kind of work your way around the other areas to lift your piece out of the cutter because it shouldn't be that stuck and the liquid clay does make it a little tricky because you can't press on the front and it will cause the piece to stick in the cutter a little more than it would usually but you should be able to work it out 
without too much trouble. There we go. And again, if you want to avoid that, just uh, cut it out on the tile. I just wanted the back to be nice and clean. Okay. And I'm just going to bring over this piece here. And any bits that might be sitting that need to be cleaned up, I'll do that after I've baked the piece. Because with the liquor clay on there right now, it just will end up being a mess if you fuss with it too much. So all I'm going to do is pop it onto this um, little doming tool, bake that for a full hour at pretty much recommended temperature, and then we can clean it up. And of course with the leftover pieces you can cut out earrings and all sorts of things. I'm just going to be showing the pendant today, but you can use the entire piece. Okay, and here it is out of the oven. Now I've given the sides and the back a sand, and so you might uh, see that some of the gold leaf has receded. And so depending on whether you want that to happen or not, just be careful when you're sanding because you can still sand off the leaf. It's much more protected because of the liquid clay and is in fact sealed in, so you don't need to use a varnish of any kind. But if you use like a rough sandpaper around 400 or 600 grit, you might end up sanding some of that away. Now, even though we don't need to seal it, I do still want to give it a gloss finish. And so I'm going to be using a UV resin. And I've just got it on my doming tool because I can handle it then and it won't be sliding all over the place because, well, it will be on the original dome surface. And you can see there how that will bring out some of the shine of the leaf underneath the liquid clay. The liquid clay is still going to have some dull areas, so I don't expect it to be all completely shiny but it will bring out some of those areas. Brush over the whole surface and then put it into the UV light for about 6 to 10 minutes. Just enough to get it nice and hard, you'll be able to feel when it's done. And then we'll basically be finished. Okay, and here it is all finished up. So I just drilled the top, popped a bale in and put it onto a uh, rubber cord. And that's basically it. Now, this I've left just because of when I ended up recording this tutorial. This has been left for roughly 12 hours. And a lot of the liquid clay is actually dry. Some of the thicker areas aren't. So over here I think it's a little sticky still. But it dries pretty quickly, especially with such a thin layer. So if you wanted to use that for other um, purposes, different projects, that kind of thing, rather than this one where you just cut it out and bake it straight as it is. Just leave it about 24 hours and you'll be able to work with it in a way that you wouldn't when it is still quite raw. But that piece I'm going to be using in a future leftover tutorial, so stay tuned for that. If you want to not miss out on that, please do leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I do videos every single week. And if you would like to support the channel further, please do consider becoming a member. There is a join button below the video or a link to Patreon. Both are basically the same and help out the channel a lot. And again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or just would like to leave a comment, please do leave one down below and I will get to it as soon as possible. I do read each and every single one of the comments, even if I don't necessarily respond to all of them. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.